Good evening. Now it's finally come to our sign up feature, okay? Which is uh, we are gonna do have a form and then eventually using the model to self. Okay, in last video, I made a mistake. Here should be types, not a schema types, okay? Make sure you change, okay? Here, here is the types. I haven't uh, take a look at what's the difference between them, but later on after the video, when I check the this is part, here, this one, here you use schema types object ID, okay? I'm not sure if I using schema types here will be work or not work. Okay, so make sure you change it here to be um, uh, what's the types. Okay, uh, at eventually we can do a test, a switch back to schema types, see if it works or not. Okay, sorry for this mistake. Okay, uh, next one I'm trying to do. Okay, oh so oh yes yes yes, we have to have a a, a sign up. Okay, which is let's go here. Uh, how about I change this one to be a sign up, the contact to be sign up. Okay. Go to view and we go to index this one, right? Index is what? Oh, oh, oh sorry, 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 sorry. That part is in the, excuse me, in the layout navigation. Okay. Uh, see here? Look. I will go to sign up. Okay. Sign up. Yes. Okay. And here I will change this uh, have active, which is if it's active, if it's uh, called uh, uh, sign up. Okay. Lowercase. Okay. And I'll give a URL called slash sign up. Okay. So when I click this one, it will go to the sign up. Okay. So in this case, I'm gonna do is um, I will create a. It's not a good to put it in the shop, right? It's not a good. So I will create a new router called the user. Okay, user .js, and here I will copy most of the thing from the others. Okay, and here we do here and here. We're using router, okay, and here I will stop now. Okay, I'll change it. Now, what we're gonna do is uh, router dot uh, gate, and what's the URL? The UI is what we change it here. Sign up, okay, slash sign up, slash sign up, and then we are gonna do is uh, we're using uh, user controller dot uh, get sign up page okay form okay so now do i have a user controller no i don't have so i will go to our controller create a, a user dot js okay and here inside the router i will require this one const user controller equals require and uh, go back to our controller then slash go to user controller okay and then in our user controller I have to expose this method right so go to our user controller using expose dot get a user form equals request the response next okay and here we will do something what should we do we are using uh, what's the thing response dot render and we will go to a sign uh, sign sign up page, okay? EJS file. And here we will give a lot of things. At least here you have to give uh, uh, this sign up uh, path. Okay, you have to give a path. Path is a sign up. Why here has an arrow here? Why here is a red? Huh? It's interesting, right? Why here? Oh, oh, what? Why here? I see here. See here, guys. See here is the red, which is different from this one. Hey, I don't know. Okay, I just do. Hey, I don't know why doing like this. Okay, I don't know. You see here? It automatically do like this way. Oh, I just do like this. Okay, and I give a sign up. Okay. So I have given the value to call the, uh, oh, I know why. See here, because I didn't, I should do like this way. 
Yes, now it because I should the here has a code. Here has a code. Okay. And now it should work. Okay. Otherwise it will treat this one like a key. Okay. So at least they have to give uh, this path. Okay. In our controller, we have to give a path. The path is uh, the value is the what thing? Sign up. Okay. So when I click that one, here 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 will be highlighted slash sign up slash sign up if i remember correctly the other part you have to also give value which is in the head in the head we have a page title okay so we have to give a page title here and what's the page title the value is uh, the value is what the value is uh, sign up page okay and there's one more i forgot what it is okay sidebar Oh yes, sidebar here has a name. I should remove this one. I let me remove this one because uh, otherwise here has to be every time it has to be dynamic. Oh, let me keep it. Okay, <laughs> I'm kind of like this person. Every time I'm changing my mind, called the add word. Okay. So now what's remaining is I have to create this page, right? So we will go and go to our view and create an EGS file called signup.ejs, okay? And the, the what's inside this one, I'm gonna use add product, okay? Control C, Control, Control C, and go here, Control V, okay? Because the only chain part is the, the form, right? So here I will add a, a sign up, okay? And here I will go to user sign up, sign up and it's gonna be a post okay here the first one is email and here using email and email and email okay and you can also give a type the input type is email okay then uh, browser will check if the, your input is email is or not email next one is what next one is password Word. Let's make a capital this one, okay. And here we were using cap password, okay. And here we were also using password for this one and this one. And now here we will give a type, which is a password, okay. And for others, no need, okay. Remove. So we are done this form and let's test first. When I click the sign up on the navigation here, we will show this uh, uh, sign up EJS file. Okay, it will show this one. Okay, so let's start this application. Okay, let's start this one. And now I go here and now I go to our home page. Uh, I click this one. Okay. Page not found. Do you know why this one says page not found? Yeah, I miss one step, which is what? I create the router, right? I create a router, but I forgot to register inside our app.js. That's why, okay. So here we have to require const uh, user routes equals require. And here we will go, yeah. We'll go routes and then we will go user, okay? And also here we were using app.use and using user, user routes, okay? Not the moon already restarted for us, so we will go here and sign up. Okay, now we see the sign up page, right? Now we see sign up. Uh, next step is uh, I really want to remove this carousel. <laughs> feel it's useless <laughs> now next is when I click uh, email, when I type email and password and click submit it will show right it will it will save successfully okay uh, let's do this one how about we stop here first is to do the sign up page then next one is actually to save the user okay uh, I don't know how long it's, it's, it's been taken. Okay, let's stop here. 
Okay, so we can separate in different videos. Okay, so the first step we do sign up is just to make sure we see the sign up page. Okay, uh, next one we will fix this uh, submit button. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. Sorry for the last moment change. Okay, bye bye.